During this lesson, I will show you how teachers that teach the same course are able to view and copy lessons from other teachers that teach that same course. So right now I'm logged in as Lisa. And if I go to Lisa's um, uh, anatomy physiology, notice she can pull up any units. She teaches this course. But when she goes to her lessons database currently, um, and she chooses anatomy physiology. She doesn't have any lessons set up at this point, but she can choose the other teacher or teachers that teach this course as well to see their lessons. So notice when I did that, it pulled up these units. So let's say that it is this introduction to structure and the function of the body. I can click on this PDF print if I want to, to um, go ahead and open that as a PDF if I want to view it or print it out or see it ahead of time. But ultimately, let's say I look at that lesson and I decide that I would like to copy that into my database. I can click copy. It asks me for my lesson name. So um, we'll just call it LB for short for Lisa Bacon um, lesson. And I can attach it to dates right away here if I wanted to. So if I wanted to say, okay, I'm gonna teach that today, July 18. Notice all the contents coming down uh, that was entered by uh, the other Lisa. And so now I'm still in and Lisa Amit, but if I go to my account, remember I'm Lisa Bacon here, and I go notice that it copied that lesson over. And furthermore, if I go to the weekly planner, um, Notice there it is on the 18th, that LB lesson that I just uh, copied from that other teacher. So let's go back to that lesson. That's how you can copy it from another teacher, but you can also copy it um, from your own account. So for instance, if you wanna clone this, and so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, and I'm gonna call it in this case, LB lesson two instead. I'm gonna keep most of this information the same, but instead I'm gonna change a few pieces in here and I can go ahead and click save. And now notice it has it as a brand new lesson, still attached to the same unit and so forth. So I can copy it here as well. And once it's in my database, not only can I copy it, but I can also edit it if I want to attach it to a different unit um, or I can even attach it to a different course that I might teach as well. So again, you have the ability, as long as both teachers teach the exact same course, there will be a drop down here with your name, but it'll have the other teachers that teach this course so you can actually view their lessons and uh, copy those down. This now concludes this video segment.